having the right connections with people is better than having a certain degree for jobs. If you know the right people it can open a lot of doors for you. I see it all the time people with degrees still struggling to get a job, I would say also if a position that is open is coming down to person who is friend slash family with the employer or a person with a college degree, it will most likely to go the friend or family member. Now it might not always work out business wise but then they'll go back to the person with the degree. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. What is unpopular about this? Depends on the industry. I am an engineer and by no way will I get a job without an education. How quickly poor grades are forgotten in the shadow of power and wealth. Don't be deluded by the good grades, good jobs, good life sh backslash asterisk t high school teachers keep telling you. Most people in my country bow shamelessly to arrogant rich and powerful individuals who are both cruel and uneducated. Connections help get your foot in the door but most of the time that's about it. This isn't unpopular. This is widely acknowledged. 100% I got an amazing job at 20 years old that I am not at all qualified for because of connections. Of all the popular opinions I have seen on this sub, this is the most universally accepted. Recruiter here, and this is so true it makes my job difficult. I can spend weeks messaging hundreds of greatly qualified people, just for some executive's nephew's friend to get the position. This is true, but if you're talking about jobs that often require degrees, you've got to be somewhat competent initially to be considered at all. Even your best friend isn't going to hire you if you have no shred of competency in the position. Make them look bad. A lot of people don't know that someone to start with, but upon getting into their job, they meet people and build relationships, show their competency, become somewhat memorable. So when they happen to be at a later date applying, even be to 10 years down the line, they may stumble upon a prior colleague who becomes that who you know, and they recommend you. This has happened numerous times at my workplace. Alternatively if you just happen to have a family friend who works in the field you happen to get your degree in and they just recommend you into a job straight away. That also helps. But this doesn't mean the person will flourish and fly in that job. Anecdotally, I have a friend who got pushed into accountancy by his parents. Upon graduating, his dad got him a position at the firm he worked in. Two years down the line. He hated working there. Even with his dad's support, he just wasn't going to climb in that firm nor enjoyed the job. He now does something completely unrelated to his degree. Or something that requires it. So the moral is probably. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should or that's what's best for you. Degrees are often underscore how underscore you make these connections. It's not that Harvard education is so far superior to other universities, it's that once you graduate, you know hundreds of people who went to Harvard. No fucking shit. Look at how hooked up Hunter Biden was. $60k slash month to do nothing in a foreign country while daddy is VP. Depending on the company, the position, and your ability to perform, you're right. Duh. This is just fact not even an opinion. Almost everything learned in school is quickly forgotten. There's no evidence that more schooling improves critical thinking or has some other intrinsic benefit. Most schooling is a huge waste, to a degree I agree with your statement, however, I work in the sports industry and while there are people that use connections to move around to different places, upward mobility is often degree centric. They expect you to have a degree at some point if you want to reach the status of senior manager, director, or VP of a particular department. One of my mentors told me that back in the early 2000s and late 90s people could move around based off of connections and work ethic slash experience easier. The new structure, this applies to industries like sports, music, film, and others, favors both degrees and connections currently. It's important to be able to have both. You can have a great life without a degree but often in modern day your upward mobility can depend on degree status. It's called nepotism, it's not an opinion. I've worked retail since 2008. It absolutely depends on who you know.
I've seen so many people get moved up to management and corporate all because they were related to someone or knew someone already there to put a word in for them. This is true as a musician especially. It's not about who you know, it's about who knows you. You can become known a number of ways. Getting a degree and excelling in class may get you noticed and then develop a personal connection with a professor who can advocate for you. While getting an education you may get an internship which will get people within industry to know you and your work quality. Etc. Legit a popular saying you idiot how is this unpopular? Ahh yes, let me just network enough to become a general surgeon. I'll keep y'all updated. Some degrees are worthless. We'll into a Starbucks. It's the biggest collection of worthless degrees working in one place. The people with degrees who are struggling to find a job are the problem themselves. They just have a terrible personality that people can sniff out from a mile away. True for some jobs, yes. But there's no way in hell I want to be treated by a doctor without a medical school degree. I've studied sports and movement and I haven't been able to find a job that suits my degree for six months. Got the degree, not the connections. This would have been an unpopular opinion about a generation ago lol. The world never changes, just the accessories. Business is still done this way and apparently won't ever change. The only real meritocracy is in direct competitive environments where results speak for themselves. That's not unpopular but the truth for all non-technical specialized jobs. This is true but to say you don't need a degree is misleading. You have to be unusually likable, outgoing, intelligent, and driven. I've known two managers in two different companies that had no engineering background but became engineers and then managers. One started in the mailroom and worked her way to manager in airline customer support engineering. The other worked on a race car team and became a powertrain engineering manager. If you're the kind of person who can get a STEM job without a degree, you would have no problem taking a few Coursera classes or online engineering certificate classes and just rely on those to get your foot in the door.